game with the Lakers? Uh, yeah, I mean, I thought I did some things well and some things not as well. And, uh, you know, getting people involved and trying to um, create pace for the team and um, trying to be on the right, in the right place weak side, I thought uh, I did well in those areas. And then I think, um, you know, uh, finishing, scoring, you know, finishing, especially finishing at the rim, which is something I'm supposed to be very good at. Um, just got to get back to it, get that mindset back, and, uh, yeah. What was harder, the practices or the game? Oh, practice. <laughs> Way harder. Uh, much, much harder. Um, just, you know, intensity, but also duration. You know, the practices are much, much longer, and, and you have two in a day. Collectively, what did the team do well defensively? Uh, I think we clamped down in the second half. We were able to communicate and be more of an aggressor in the second half versus uh, reactionary. Um, I think in the first half they probably put up about 50 points. Uh, I'm just guessing, but something around there. And then in the second half it was probably 35, 40 maybe. So. What makes a good weak side defender in Byron's system? Uh, what makes a good, one is you're in the right place at the right time. Two, you can see what's going on. You're not totally focused on either the ball or your man. Um, and then three, you're communicating to the people who are um, on the ball or on the strong side that can't see the weak side. You always have to communicate and let them know where people are going and where you are as well. What do you guys do today? What do we do today? Uh, we watch film, and uh, they. A lot of the young, younger guys um, went through a lot of the plays, and then uh, me personally, I just watched film. <laughs> How about what did you see in Kobe last night, and what did you see today? Uh, well, last night he looked great um, and uh, looked comfortable and feels healthy, and um, it, you know it's 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 just day one or first game for him, so he'll continue to build. Um, and then today we didn't uh, touch the floor, so. You just watch film yeah. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm getting more and more of an idea. I think um, we have we run a lot out of our Princeton sets. We run a lot of dribble handoffs, so being able to come off pace, pace, and and create a good shot for the team. Um, I think um, one thing that you know I think I can bring as well is just uh, pushing the ball in transition. I think. Uh, um, you know, turning defense into quick offense uh, is definitely something I've always loved doing, and I can bring that here as well. And then I think um, there's going to be a lot of times when guys are keying in on Kobe or, or keying in on other guys. And, and so, um, you know, that will give me a little bit more freedom and, and uh, space to operate versus them trying to, you know, you know, they're just focused on something else or somebody else. And so that will give me a little more freedom to be able to um, have more space, whether it's on my attacks to the rim. You and Ed had a strong connection to the pick and roll last night. Did you kind of feel that Me building? Me and, and Ed, Ed. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I thought you said Nash. I was uh, like, oh, really? <laughs> did, you guys, did you guys kind of feel that building up in the practices leading up, or did it kind of just spark last night? Uh, yeah, I think we had some of that going on in practice as well, just because we're on the same team. But, um, you know, definitely I think I thought last night was, uh, you know, we were able to carry it over. And, um, you know, he definitely um, – comes down and catches it in the mid post area or in the pocket area and can make a good decision and that's just really valuable.